Actually, what do you think about wearing a kaftan for Christmas? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Iman and today I am back with a video all about fashion. It's a mini haul of what I have purchased in the past two weeks, uh, about the past two weeks. Um, in total, there are four brands I have purchased from. Two are clothing brands and two are shoe brands, all African brands, as I mentioned. Um, I'm doing a little trial here with a new format for my hauls when I talk to you and I insert here about here a video of me trying on um, the items so let's go first is the brand ethnic shop based in abuja nigeria it is a kaftan brand a boo boo brand boo boo is how we call it around here so i got two from this brand the first one is the oyin eniyi royal kaftan in blue I just really love the color. It exists also in green, in emerald, but if you've been following me, you know blue and royal blue in particular is really a color that I, that I really enjoy wearing um, because I, I don't know, I just find it so vibrant and so interesting. And I know sometimes it's not like the most uh, out there color for a lot of people but for me i don't know i just vibe a lot with that color so as you can see it's very the the structure of it is very classic but everything is in the detailing around the neck the fabric is not too heavy it's very nice and um light when you wear it so i feel like it so good one to wear if you're going to a wedding outside or something. And really why I made my choice to purchase from this brand is that I've been in need, in serious need of some classy kaftans because every time there's a Muslim holiday, I rush around trying to find something and I never find something that I really enjoy except really something outrageously expensive but this one was actually very reasonably priced and the design is very nice and i feel like because we are uh, we, i didn't order it in the rush of the holidays uh shipment was fast and i received it and the quality is nice so i'm very happy with it next one is the any black lace kaftan now i know i mean i love black but i know a black kaftan is not the most usual thing because usually when you get a kaftan and you wear a kaftan it's really for a party for something very festive and people feel like black is just like too sad of a color i love black so of course i had to go with black and this one i find it very classy but yet very very interesting because it's uh, there's an underdress which by the way you may be able to wear that underdress by itself like styled properly it could really work and then you have the um the thing you put over the overdress that's made out of lace and it's quite light it's not it's not too heavy when you put it on the only issue I'm, i find with um with that um kaftan is the fabric that lace fabric tends to blush a little bit so you may have threads hanging here and there i tried cutting mine off but uh, i feel like maybe if i get stuck on something it's not going to look too pretty that's the only issue i have with it otherwise i really like it um and i feel like it's the type of um, outfit it's one size so it can evolve easily with you if you're gaining weight losing weight whatever if you're going to go to an event and you're going to eat a lot that's fine too actually what do you think about wearing a kaftan for christmas that might be an idea because i feel like it's very this one is very classy it could be a vibe maybe i should think about it but yeah overall uh very nice purchase 
I'm happy about it and I will most likely order more uh, if I have events, weddings, whatever, Muslim holidays coming up, I will order more because they have a lot, a lot, really a lot of designs and very nice ones. And actually for these two kaftans, so the blue one and the black one, I even got matching headscarves. Uh, so yeah, I'm that extra. I told you I like matching my stuff. I'm extra, sorry. Next, I ordered from the brand Sisters of Africa, which is based in Senegal. And actually, if you've been following me for a little while on Instagram, which maybe you have not, but maybe you are actually still not following me on Instagram. So my Instagram is here. You, you can go now, follow me. Um, it's actually a brand I discovered in 2016, right when I started my blog. And that's when I actually did an African designer series of interviews of African designers. I think there were about 10 of them and Sisters of Africa was one of them. And back then they were doing a lot more uh, Ankara dresses, etc. So over the years, I've been seeing how well they have evolved. And I'm really, really loving this new type of tie and dye fabric they've been using for their designs. And also the designs themselves are really flattering i feel for um curvy bodies so the first one i got um is this dress so originally that's why i don't have the name or the price because originally it's not the one i had purchased i had purchased another one but it was out of stock so they asked if i wanted to switch it for something else and i picked that one so that one, as you can see, is um, has three colors. And I feel like the three colors are really looking good together. It gives these color block vibes. It's very flattering. The neck is high and it's long. There's no slit, nothing. So it's a very classic design. But everything, again, is in the color. Overall, very comfortable too. Uh, again, the type of dress you can evolve in if you're gaining a little weight or losing a little weight. I mean, it's the holidays. You need some space in your clothes if you're going to eat. I know I'm going to eat, so I'm, I'm all for evolu <laughs> evolving designs that are not going to shame me <laughs> if I gain a little weight because that's holi the holidays for you. You're going to eat and we love to eat around here. The next dress I got is called the Tanu dress. And as you can see, it's really the type of designs I've been enjoying and I've been buying a lot of recently. So you have the V, the V neck, the belt, something very flowy and long at the bottom. And this one has a little slit on the side for a little sexiness going on. Uh, the color of course is Stunning. It's again this cotton fabric uh, with the tie and dye uh, colors on it. It's really, really stunning. And I think it's even more stunning in person. And um, the only issue I have with the dress is there's a stitching uh, around the neck. And I feel like it's like compressing my breasts. Maybe if I wear it without bra, which I would most likely do. It won't look like that, but if it does, I'm definitely going to get it altered and remove that odd stitching uh, because it's like straight. I don't really know why. But aside from that, I'm very happy with my purchase from this brand. It's, I mean, I, especially because I've seen the evolution where it was at the beginning in 2016, which I'm not saying it was not the beginning of the brand. The brand started in 2000. 13 but at the earlier earlier stages and where it is now it's really uh, great to see how our brands on our continent are evolving and really evolving in the quality of their designs and this one definitely is one to be proud of my next purchase was from a shoe brand based in nigeria which is called john and joanne so when I unboxed these on my Instagram, I know it looked kind of funny, but actually 
because y'all are my people. So many of you like the design. So it's this, it's the Zuka, I think, the Zuka sandals. I got it in green, so this one. And I also got it in white. And the white ones, actually, I already wore uh, last week for brunch. And I got some compliments on them. Although my dad said the square front was looking very funky. From afar, I think they looked weird because they just do but you know i'm a weird person so i like anything weird but worn i feel like they are a statement piece you know they remind me of the bottega um the bottega sandals uh, i feel like it's the same design but in flats and made in africa so i had to buy them um I had worn them with uh, jeans and a shirt and I was looking fly and I was enjoying looking fly. They really look nice and I don't have any complaints about them. They are very lightweight and the quality I think looks pretty good. So overall a good purchase. My next purchase was from an Ivorian brand called Co and Clo and it's a brand that makes shoes. So the ones I got, the first ones I got were these ones. So as you can see, maybe I'll turn them around. They are sandals, so slides, and they are made of braided denim on the top with a bead, an acam bead here, we call it poids baoulé on top. And really, I remember the first time I saw them on Instagram, it was two or three months ago, I think. I immediately wanted to buy. So I messaged them, but they didn't have my size. Little did I know, they actually had my size because they these, this design in particular, you need to go up a size. So I'm usually a 39, but for these, you see, I took a size 40 and they look bomb like really a great 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 purchase and i'm really happy to see our local ivorian designers stepping up their game in terms of design because this is really a unique design i've never seen this anywhere else and they actually have this with the the braided section with ankara for those of you who like ankara be better but I was all in for denim because I feel like this is the unique factor of these pair of shoes. So a, a very, very great purchase. So last item of this haul are these cuties. Uh, again, a pair of sandals from the brand Co & Clou. So as you can see, they are heeled sandals. And this actually is the perfect pair of black sandals black heeled sandals because the heel is not too high and it's really something i don't have in my collection so it's perfect as you can see the heel is not too high it's black and the front is stylish i feel like everybody needs a easy to wear pair of heels so something not too high so you can run errands in really this can be your go-to pair of shoes even if you're going to the office etc and still very stylish with the same uh, beads, the same account beads in the front and perfect also for the holiday season. If you're trying to gift these to somebody, I'm sure they will be happy and they are not really expensive to be honest with you. But compared to the other ones, these actually are true to size. So I'm a 39, these are a 39. And really they're amazing. And actually the day I got them, I wore them. No, actually two days after I got them, I wore them outside to go uh, to a restaurant. And I, it's like I was walking on flats, really. They are so, so comfortable. So yeah, that is it. Last item. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put in the description bar all the designers. And uh, really, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of content coming. I have content posted every week and I'm thinking I will do a travel vlog because I am traveling first trip 
since January 31st, 2020. And actually I had a little contest on my Instagram in my story for people to guess where I was going. So maybe I'll make a little vlog because the destination I'm headed to, people kind of don't really know, know it that well. So it should be interesting. So I'm thinking about vlogging it. Uh, but stay tuned. I have a lot of Christmassy content coming up. And yes, please subscribe. Join the family. We have a lot of fun here. And we have a lot of fun on Instagram too. Follow me on Instagram. And thank you so much for watch watching. And see you next week for a new video. Bye.